Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. A weekly tarot reading uh, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week cancer, that is to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome, which is very, very typical to the Queen of Cups, that is to be the Moon card. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week, that is to be the Knight of Swords. And then the last one here, it is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Seven of Cups. Very interesting reading. As a matter of fact, um, as we usually do the readings here, card by card, I hope that that is going to make sense because these three cards here are very tightly linked uh, in the reading. And uh, it's uh, simple. It's simply they have to be read at, uh, as one. I mean, at once. But I will do my best to uh, make sense of them as I go a card by card. All right. So we do have the Queen of uh, Cups as a topic, and that is accompanied by the King of Pentacles. So we do have a, a person, Queen of Cups, that is a, a very emotionally indulged, a indulged person. What I mean it is that they only care how, not just only the people, but also they are feeling into their environment. So what kind of a role that person is gonna play into your life? Well, usually the Queen of Cups is someone that you can definitely rely on and that it is someone that you can have trust in because they do have that extreme sense of privacy. Uh, they are to uh, not motivate you, but let's say they are to emotionally stabilize you. So what the, the, the week is really all about? The week is really all about of a uh, chaos. So things around you will stop making sense. Why things are happening, you will not going to be able to find the reason behind it, right? You do have difficulties in your career, let's say you can't find reason behind it. You do have difficulties in your relationship, you will not know why. Uh, or you will have a, a certain improvement in your career and yet you will not know why. And that kind of puts this nagging feeling of that there is something wrong. Okay, so that will be the whole thing that you need to overcome, which is the next card here, the moon, which is going to be catalyzed by the uh, page of swords. So there will be things that you need to, um, that you will need to overcome this feeling of a, um, 
uh, of uncertainty. It's not even an insecurity. It is more like a, a feeling of uncertainty that you don't have any control whatsoever over the situation, over your marriage, over your career, you know, over your friendships and etc. etc. And this person, the Queen of uh, Cups, is going to ease your wavering, is going to ease your emotional scattering, if I may express myself that way. For some of you, giving you a shoulder to cry on, you know, for others uh, having these deeply meaningful conversations with one another, talking about, for example, what could be the worst thing that can happen. And by it, you know, you are going to, like said beforehand, a ease your wavering because you are to see that actually the world, the world doesn't come to, to its end, to its end. Now, you need to know that the Queen of Cups, uh, it kind of holds on to, into you very tightly. What I mean here, it is that they found you as a person who really worth a time investment. Uh, I don't, I, I can't explain it to its full extent, but um, I'm trying to find the word here. So you, you uh, for the Queen of Cups, for this person, Queen of Cups, you are... Um, they're twin flame, all right? So it's someone that they cannot simply let down, someone that they cannot see suffer, someone that they cannot see failing, and so on and so forth. So um, the challenge here is going to be overcoming the sense of um, uncertainty that it is uh, appearing throughout the week with your career, you know, or with your relationship or with your life in general. What we do have in this combination, these are a passive neutrals, and uh, a big thing in regards to the uncertainty that comes around, it is that uh, uh, how the things are happening and shaping in this particular moment into your career or into your uh, relationship will a bit differentiate from uh, your personal understanding or from the vision that you do have of how things need to manifest and need to unfold. And for that reason, you are, you are gonna start losing a grip upon a uh, your ability to predict you know the future moves of your rivals of your competition of your partner of your husband wife uh friends boss and uh so on and so forth but what is important here to be said with that challenge it is that um, at this particular moment you need to know that you can't influence anything no one can influence anything when the moon card stands then things are um now shaping now things are manifesting and they are how way manifested and for that reason no one can make any sense of them not just only you but everybody it is in this state of limbo and until the, the everything is manifested to a point where it's now workable no actions can really be uh, be executed. However, when we do have the moon card, it means that whatever it's manifesting, it's really substantial for you. I mean, that is the thing that you need to put a, uh, a full attention into, but only when it takes a full shape. So the next one, it regards to the positive aspect of your week, and that is another person that we do have for you. That is to be the Knight of Swords accompanied with the King of Wands. Uh, we do have a uh, active friends in this particular position, and that is a, a very courageous, usually young person who does have a very sharp and flexible mind. As with the as with the King of Wands, their ambition is very strong as well. Their sense of how to lead a a happy and joyful life as well. Now they usually have a very high expectations. And as well, they have, uh, how can I say it? They have a sense for no compromise whatsoever. But the, what is important to be said about these people, it is that they are natural born leaders. And under leaders, I don't mean bosses. So they will very well know how to, when they ask for something or when they propose something, they will have an idea how to do that something. Okay, uh, the better combination than the Knights of Swords and the King of Wands as a natural born leader, it is the King of Swords and the King of Wands. Okay, coming as the King of Swords come first, come, comes first. So, uh, what role this person is going to play as well is that they are going to encourage you. While the Queen of Cups 
uh, takes care for your emotional state, the Knight of Swords is going to take care of your mental state. Okay, whatever things are baffling you and you cannot simply find reason behind and simply you cannot find a way out, let's say that way, the Knight of Swords type of person here is going to uh, pretty much divulge what you can do in any kind of scenario that can play out. And not just only that, but also how to end up having the upper hand in any kind of scenario that you are, that it is um, playing out uh, in your head. So whatever poignant thoughts you have, whatever thoughts of uh, total destruction or total failure may uh, start dwelling within your mind, the Knight of Swords will always help, help you to figure out how to uh, reverse a failure into success. And not only that, but as well, it will help you to uh, traverse those um, thoughts into a, a very, very powerful actions. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tara is offering. That is to be the Seven of Cups here, accompanied with the Page of Wands. Uh, that is a, a very big guidance. Uh, it pretty much says that no one does it by themselves. All right, they, they, a specific individual to be successful, they need at some stage of the chase of their success, they need to rely on someone and they need to allow someone to help them. And lucky for you, Cancer, you do have two people who want to uh, help you. Additionally to that, these two cards here are pointing that no matter how ridiculous and preposterous, you know, in a uh, perception looks like, as uh, the times are such that uh, things are manifesting, right, and uh, that nothing have been decided yet, one's dreams, which are either um, fantasies or seeds growing, it's yet remain to be knowing. So these two cards here are pointing you that uh, as a guidance is while you do have support and followers, you can definitely keep your dreams high. You can definitely keep your goals high. And uh, together through cooperation with these two people, which are going to be very positive characters in your, in your life or in your environment at that stage, you definitely can uh, reach a, a significantly greater heights than the heights you are finding yourself right now. And whatever is thrown in your way by the fate or by someone else, you can overcome. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.